It all belongs. My hallelujah belongs to. <laughs> Woo! I love it, y'all. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, people, God is so good. And there's a lot going on. And we really need to be in his glory today. You know, it is very important that we understand what God's glory is. Father, in the name of Jesus, I need you right now. Yes. I need you, Lord. Hold on, what? Oh. Um, Trent, do me a favor. Concentrate. Thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Please, Lord, help us. <laughs> we need you more than ever. And no man can do anything except he do it by you, Lord. All honor and glory go to you. My hallelujah yes. belongs to you. Yes. So in the name of Jesus, Lord, help us today. Yes. Help us. We need you more than ever. Yes. The things that we're asking only you can do. That's right. No man can do it. No except he do it by you. Amen. It's you that's doing it. Amen. Use me, Lord. In Jesus' name, let the church say. Amen. 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 Now. Now, I said that there's a lot going on, and uh, uh, I, I, I want to take care of it. First of all, um, I want to take care of, you've been under attack for three days with high blood pressure. And what was the other thing? Oh, the heart rate is up. Your heart rate is up and high blood pressure. Have you been dizzy at all? Uh, no, but I was weak. You're weak. Right, that was that you've been weak in your body. Okay. High blood pressure. I hate high blood pressure spirits. You were dizzy a little bit, but not like in the past. Well, I want a permanent healing in your body. Because you've been going through high blood pressure for too long. Way too long. And I just saw my cousin, my first cousin daughter. I look on Facebook this week and she was at the hospital. They said, what happened to you? She said, my blood pressure was so high that while I was in the tub taking a bath, I passed out and hit my head. Tried to kill her. She could have drowned in there because, because just her and her little her four little children. She passed out in the tub, ladies, and hit her head. That blood pressure demon is dangerous. And there's a whole lot of people out here, especially people of color, on blood pressure pills. A whole lot of Christians taking blood pressure pills. The trick of the devil, man. I saw um, a little clip of um, that guy, E.W. Jackson. Uh-huh. He was praying for people. And it's like almost all the people have blood, high blood pressure and, and diabetes. Yeah. So it's, and all of them were black. It's a whole lot of people in churches all over America mm -hmm. taking high blood pressure yeah. medicine. Now I already told you, I love doctors. I pray for them. I love nurses. I pray for them. And I have never told a human being in, the, in my life since being in ministry to stop taking their pills. And I never will tell them. My job. Is to pray. To the father. To heal your body. To the extent that you won't need a pill. And that your doctor. Would be the one to take you off. Jesus take you off first. In the spirit realm. Then your doctor take you off. In the 
natural realm. And I'm going to believe God to heal blood pressure today. So I want your blood pressure to be healed today. Now, now, my God, my God. So, I want more healing. More healing. So, I want to spew out the word of God into this atmosphere for miracles. Uh, let me hear you say signs, signs wonders, wonders, and miracles. A.A. A. Allen. Oh, y'all repeat his name. Y'all didn't have to. But that's all right. The great A.A. A. Allen. I heard him say he had a big sign up. He had the church to keep repeating the other day. He had them repeating. And this is back in the 50s. He had them repeating signs, wonders, and he said, and divers miracles. Signs, wonders, and divers miracles. I like that. Because he's talking about all types of miracles for whatever the need is. Now, now, as I spew the word of God out into the atmosphere, I'm going to get ready for you first. And when he heard of Jesus, as you on that ninth chapter of, of Matthew, right? Huh? Now, now, I've already, each Sunday, except for last Sunday, because I preached on Thanksgiving, I've been going through the healing in the Bible in Matthew, right? Right? Mm. Now, hold on now. And when he heard of Jesus, hold on. And when he heard of Jesus, has anyone here ever heard of Jesus? Huh? Anyone ever heard of the miracle worker? The deliverer? The savior of the whole world? And when he heard of Jesus, now, that was in another gospel. But in the ninth chapter of Matthew, look at verse number 12. Can you look at verse number 12 for me? Huh? Now, but when Jesus heard it, so in other words, we heard of Jesus, but Jesus can hear us too. <laughs> Jesus can hear your prayer for you and for your whole family. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you something right now. Every day I pray a, a, a certain prayer every day. And guess what I do? I got this from Job. For all you parents in here, I don't leave this out. I got this from Job. I said, Lord, please forgive my sons and daughters and their sons and daughters for all their sins. I got that from Job. I said, I repent on their behalf. I said, my sons and daughters and their sons and daughters. I repent on their behalf. Because we got a lot of sons and daughters in sin. We got a lot of sons and daughters who ain't going to nobody's church. They ain't trying to go to church. Not reading their Bible. Still in the world. Y'all hear me? Yes, amen. And I'm going to believe God for a miracle for my family. Now look at verse number 12. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, they that be whole, uh -oh, need not a what? Need not a what? They that be whole. My God, my God. Need not a physician. How about this? How about we can have faith today that we'll never need a physician? You'll never need surgery. You'll never need to go on medication. Come on up here now. Y'all talking Bible now. If Jesus said that there are some people who need not a physician, I want to be one of them. Sucks. He said it right there. He just said it right there. I see it. He said, they that be whole. God, my God. Mm -hmm. They that be whole, 
don't need not a position. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, everybody within the sound of my voice, and I'm going to tell you again up in heaven's best, these signs, wonders, and miracles, this word is not just for you only, even though you're the one that's here. You're the one that's sitting up in the building. But I declare that it come to you and go through your body into your bloodline. Go through you to your sons and your daughters and your nieces and your nephews and your cousins and your uncles and your aunts and your mamas and daddies and your grandma and granddaddies. Come on, somebody. Because sometimes just us being in a place can help take care of them wherever they are. Now I know that's right. Say it, Anetta. You said speak it. Come on, say it again, Anetta. Lynette, say it again. Speak it. My God. Three times in the Holy Ghost, she said, speak it. It's real. So, so he said, he said, but they that are sick, those are the ones that need a position, the ones that are what? There it is, they're sick. But in the name of Jesus. Women, get ready, repeat after me and say it out loud right now and mean it. If you're not going to mean it, don't say it. If you don't have the faith, then don't say it. But if you have faith to believe it, say it. You ready? Say, I am the healthiest, I am the healthiest woman, woman on earth. On earth. Men, y'all ready? Yes, I am the healthiest, the healthiest man, man on earth. On earth. Yes. And I believe it. Do you hear me? I believe it. Don't go by symptoms. A devil is a liar. The father of lies. And he can send a lying symptom to make you believe what he wants you to believe. You can get a little discomfort somewhere in your body. You can get a pain somewhere in your body. Or you can have the doctor them tell you of some negativity in your body. And say he can tell you that you're getting ready to get jacked up. He can give you a little chest pain and tell you in your spirit that you can ready to have a heart attack. Yeah, yeah. Or you can ready to have a stroke. He'll lie to you. He'll tell you that you can ready to have an aneurysm because you've got a headache. He's going to try to magnify the symptom in your mind and in your spirit. But you got to open your mouth and say, you're lying dog from the pit of hell. All right, Trinity. Get out of here with your lying symptoms. Do you hear me? How dare you? This is the temple of God. Are you crazy? You tell that devil, are you crazy? This is the temple of God. You touch this, you're going to have to pay a price and you're not going to like it. See, Y'all got to know how powerful you are. Yes. And we got the most powerful father. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you are the child of the creator himself, the almighty God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then what are you fretting over? <laughs> what are you losing sleep over? What are you doubting? What are you doing? Nuh-uh, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. When things get rough, when the storm is raging, my God, my God. When every demon from hell got a assignment against you in your whole house. Mm -hmm. Something on the inside of you for the rain up because you know that no matter what, God going to raise up a standing in a minute now. And the battle ain't mine, it's the Lord's. And the Lord said, I am thy Lord, thy God. I am the beginning and the ending. I'm the Alpha and the Omega. Behold, I'm the one that died but now live. 
I was dead, but now I live and will live forevermore. Then Satan, get out of my face. Get out of my head. Loose my children. Loose my money. Loose my body. Because I'm a believer. So they that are sick, say this out loud right now. I'm not sick. Say it again. I'm not sick. <laughs> and will not be sick. Ever. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, now let me speak this over you. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elder of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. I'm beseeching him to come and heal his servant today. Yeah, yeah. Minister, come here for a second. Because I feel the Holy Ghost power right now. And I'm going to glorify him on your behalf right now. Because I believe that God wants your blood pressure to be normal. In the name of Jesus. You and I were created in his image. In his image created us. Does God have high blood pressure? You did. Well, I just confirmed it. He don't have it. <laughs> he don't have it. Hold on. But you're creating his image. Does he have diabetes? No. Does he have kidney problems? No. Liver problems? No. Does he have cancer? No. Does he have sciatica? But guess what? He didn't make a mistake. If I'm creating in his image, then it's Satan that's trying to bring all that stuff to me. Amen. If I'm in the image of God, I'm going to stay in his image until he called me home. So right now, in the name of Jesus, oh my God. Let me hear you say supernatural. Uh, let me hear you say spiritual. spiritual. Let me hear you say divine. divine. And let me hear you say glory. glory. How can we lose with all of that? We, we will never lose. We win and we win and we win, win, win. So right where you are, I'm going to ask the Lord right now to give you a supernatural blood transfusion. Yes. A supernatural blood transfusion. I want the old blood gone. <laughs> I want the old blood gone. Out with the old. I want the old blood purged out of him. The blood with Satan's crap in it. Satan's mess in it. And I want that new, 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 new blood. Well, hold on. Hold on. The blood. Uh, 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 hold on. The blood. Hold on. Hold on. The blood. Hold on. Huh? You the new thing? New thing. Shall you not know it? The blood. The blood. I want the blood. I want the blood. Oh. Oh, I want the blood. Tell me some blood. Uh, I want the blood. Uh, but now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over high blood pressure. And I command it to loose you in Jesus' name. I bind up every demonic attempt to keep high blood pressure in your machinery. 
I declare that your machinery is now being perfected by the power of God in Jesus' name. I just heard the word gallons. Gallons of fresh blood coming in right now. In Jesus' name. You won't need a physician. Because you're being made whole right now. Dizziness is gone. All attempts to weaken your body through high blood pressure gone. And I declare your pressure perfect. Ooh, there it is. Flowing perfect through your body. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, the blood is flowing perfect. The blood, the blood. Just stand right there and take your transfusion right now. You're getting a blood transfusion right now. Just take it right where you are. Take it right there. And while you're taking it, I'm going to have Sister June come up here next. But while you're taking it, take it. I'll call you Sister June. But, but while you're taking it, guess what? And it came to pass on a certain day. Let me hear you say a certain day. A certain day. And it came to pass on a certain day. As he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by. Y'all sitting by? Yeah. Which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power and the power and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. That, pr that, that presence is here to heal us today. Just 30 more seconds. I said the power of the Lord is present to heal all of us on this certain day. On this certain day. Well, I feel it too. Oh my God. There's a presence of a beautiful flowing like a river. I feel it going through our system right now. I feel it. It's flushing us of all germs, of all viruses, of all infections. Everything that has been planted in us that was not planted by God today on this certain day is now being rooted out. In the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare you healed. I declare you healed. I declare you healed. I declare you healed. Say it again. I declare you healed. Say it again. I declare you healed. I declare you restored. I declare you whole. And then in a whole need not a what? Done deal. Get God praise up in here. Get God praise up in here. Done deal. When he takes his seat, he's sitting in the glory. When he takes his seat, he's healed in the glory. When he takes his seat, mm, God wins. Mm. <laughs> The spirit of the Lord is upon me, church, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and recovering of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty, to set at liberty them that are bruised. He set at liberty this day. My God, my God, my God, my God. This is a done deal. Don't blame. He got the joy of the Lord in him right now. To the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Come on, Sister Joan. I mean, Sister June, I mean. My Lord, I know that. Stand right here, Sister June. You know it all? Sister June. Pressed her way today. Thank you, Sister Tuan. Sister June needed to come to heaven's best. She has a situation, and her son need a blessing. 
She's here standing on behalf of her son. You hear me, y'all? And I'm going to believe. That's, him. That's it. Handsome man. Handsome young man. Is he, is he 35 or 36 now? He's 37 years old. There he is right there. Uh, what's his first name? Julian. Julian. We got it. That's right. Call his name again. Julian. One for the Holy Ghost. Julian. This is a mom. And there's one thing about a mom. It's like a mom crying out for her son or her daughter. Y'all hear me, mamas? Hold them ball game when they show a child. Gets in the oh yeah, <laughs> and uh, mom want this thing to be over with, and I want it to be over with too. And mom is hurting for her son. She's hurting. So y'all, are we gonna believe in signs, yeah. wonders? And divers miracles. She needs a miracle. And I believe she's going to get it today. She has something to do today to take care of today, but she told that devil, oh, hold on. Ms. Munson, Ms. Law reminded me today of your daughter. When your daughter was under attack. <laughs> I'll never forget what she said. She was at home under a tap. She said, okay. You know what? No, I know what to do with you. Yeah. I'm going to take you to heaven. <laughs> 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 I know what to do with you. Yeah. I'm going to take you straight to heaven best, and you know you're going to be finished with me then. <laughs> and she bought him here, didn't she? Right. <laughs> we knocked him out in Jesus' name. <laughs> Bring the heaven's best, Dad Gummit, live and in person, to help you in Jesus' name. Now, Father, oh, we need you right now. Hold on, y'all. And where her son is, he's being attacked in his kidneys. So we need his kidneys to be healed. Now, hold up. The kidney thing, isn't that the Dallas demon? Yeah. Oh, I hate yeah. that Dallas demon. I hate dialysis machine. Y'all hear me? So it's his kidney. And he's dealing with some diabetes too? Diabetes, high blood pressure. High blood pressure? No, asthma. Oh, wow. Hold on. That's a spiritual thing. Hold on. Hold on. High blood pressure. Asthma. Mm -hmm. Diabetes. Diabetes. In the kidney. Everything that's attacking your son, we have seen those healings in here for years. Before we had that program in here, we cleaned this off. Uh, we had asthma apparatus on the altar, then we had insulin that they shoot up for diabetes on the altar. Why? Because they didn't need to shoot up no more because they got healed of that so-called incurable disease. So, off the high blood pressure healing. Oh, we're gonna keep rolling. Oh, the diabetes. Oh, diabetes. Oh man, I was getting ready to say it. Miss Long, turn to that scripture for me in song. Turn to that diabetic devil. Where is it? Now hold up. No, that's not the one, is it? Hold on, man. Give me that demon. Come on. Let me find that demon in here. Because you know what part I want. Yeah. There it is. Stop right there. Man, stop right there. Woo, God. That diabetes demon. We already know he's a flesh eating devil from the pit of hell. Um, Mr. Samuel had both legs amputated because of diabetes. A uh, pastor. Lynn Bradley, who I've known since he was probably in the first grade, they cut off both his legs, the pastor in North Carolina, from diabetes. They wanted to cut off your toes before you got here for diabetes. 
Minister, hold on, Evangelist Rosa, before your brother came here, they were supposed to cut off his feet, weren't they? Yeah. Till she told him to come here. Psalm 27, verse 2. When the wicked, even mine enemy, ooh, I like this, because he's talking directly to yeah. satanic forces. Mm -hmm. He's talking directly to sickness and disease. Mm -hmm. He's talking directly to every foul spirit from hell. Mm -hmm. He's talking directly to Satan, Lucifer himself. He's talking directly to the world. He's talking directly to everything that's yes. not of God. Mm -hmm. The serpent, the snake, when the wicked, even mine and in my foes, came upon me. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. I know you didn't hit me. He just stole me upside my head. I just took a blow just then. He didn't like that at all. I just took a hit right here. What's going on now? But I took a hit. Oh, no, I know what it is. It's warfare. Oh, 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 we can take a hit, but guess what? He can't destroy us. He can't put us down either. Yeah. Oh, but I just took a hit. So he stole me right there. That means he's a loser. And he knows that's why he stole me. Oh, huh? Keep on sticking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to get more than a lick back. He just got a lick. I'm going to get way more than a lick. Julian is getting ready to get free. Feel free. And not only that, saved. Get ready right now. Oh, I feel it. Lord, now here's what I'm going to ask for Julian right now. The first thing I'm going to ask for. Lord, release angels to him right now. Mm. Right where he is. Woo! Most of the angels go to him right now, Lord, on this certain day. Send angels to him right now. And let him know the angels are there. Lord, put angels in the same spot. Room in the same space with him. Lord, let it be two types of, mm, no, let it be three types of angels. Lord, send your warring angels in first to clear the area. <clears throat> to clear the area, thank you. Send your warring angels in first to clear the area around Julian, right where he is. And then, Lord, send your comforting angels to him. Because I know that there's some stuff messing with him, not only physically, but emotionally yes. and mentally. Yes. Depressing him. Yes. Putting fear in him. Yes. Heaviness. Yes. Uh-uh. <laughs> Send the comforting angels to him right now, Lord. Yes. And the third, send the angels that will minister a word to him from you, God. Yes. To save him. To bring him on his knees to surrender all. Change everything. Mm, I feel it. I feel it. This is not in vain. This is real. We're in the spirit realm. So the angels are there now. Matter of fact, I can see the angels there. There's a lot of them too. Oh, they're there. He's right in the midst of them. Julie's right in the midst of them. Oh, they are there for him because of us in here today. Mama standing here. Yes, The angels there, so like Psalm 27 says, though in host should encamp against me. My heart shall not fear. No more fear in your son. No more depression in your son. The angels are there to help him. He's no longer outnumbered. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Say, I will be confident. So what kind of war are you in? Sometimes I want a war. Just so I can show that demon how strong God is. Yeah. Sometimes, guess what? Sometimes you got to be on the offense. Sometimes you got to be like, yeah, yeah, try me. I see you hanging out around me. I see you messing with them over here. I see you messing with them. 
But I'm here now. Y'all hear me? Bring it on. Bring it on. We ain't afraid of you. Matter of fact, the Bible tells me that just at the mention of Jesus' name, demons tremble. Just say his name. Say his name. Say his name. They trembling right now. Ready? Here we go. I take authority over diabetes. Thing. I take authority now in Jesus' name over asthma. I take authority over kidney disease and kidney attacks. I take authority over every sickness and every disease. As I lay hands on his mama. Woo! It's going right through his mama who carried him in her womb, who birthed him out of her own body. I send it through your body to your son's body right now. You are the conduit that God is using to heal your son's body on this certain day. I said in the name of Jesus. Say that you're losing right now. You're a loser from the beginning. You're going to be a loser in the end. But in the name of Jesus, Julian, be healed. Be made whole. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, give Julian another chance at life. Give him another chance to get it right. Give him a chance, Lord God, to live for you. Give him a chance, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you forgave us. Forgive him. Lord, you gave us another try to give him another. Lord God, you're with us. Be with him. Lord God, he said, I'll put your sin as far away from you as the east is from the west. I'll take his sin. I'll put it into the sea. Never to remember them again. For the name of Jesus. While I'm up on the top of the hill, I can't say I'm going to You got it. Mama said she got it. She's going through mama right now to her son. She got it. Mama got it. Mama got it. His 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 ears are open to your cry. His mama got it. The glory is in you right now. If God be glorified in him, God shall also glorify him in himself. And shall straightway glorify him. Lord. Right where you in is. Lord God. I beseech thee, show him your glory. <laughs> show him your glory. Show him your glory. Show him your glory. Ooh, Lord, show him your glory. Uh-oh, I just heard a word. The kidneys just got healed first. Mm. I just heard the kidneys just got healed. His kidneys just got healed. That's the first thing I heard. His kidneys just got healed. Oh, come on. Kidneys just got healed. Kidneys just got healed. Oh, oh his kidneys just got healed. Come on, Lord. God said he's going to keep it moving. He's going to keep it moving. He's going to keep it moving. Your son's kidneys just got healed. I ain't worried about no doctor. They're being negligent, but God ain't. Come see about it. Church, and call upon me in the day of trouble. What? Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I and I will deliver thee. Call on me in time of trouble. I will 
shall be with thee. And thou shalt glorify me. Lord God, we give you glory. Lord God, we give you praise. Uh oh, I heard something else. I just heard it. His asthma just got healed. No more asthma. In Jesus' name. 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 In the midst of this, God said there's two more miracles for you. Two more deliveries. There's two more coming, Mom. He said there's two more coming for you. There's a particular strip, scripture that's coming for the last one. He just gave it to me. But I'm waiting for him to announce. <laughs> I'm waiting, Lord. He said, wait patiently on the Lord. <laughs> mm. Say it again. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He He's heard up. mama's cry. Brought me up out of the horrible pit. Oh! Out of the miry clay. Out of the miry clay? He set my feet up upon the rock. My God, my God. established my horns. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Song in my mouth. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Julian. Here we go. Praise unto Allah. Here we go. Kidney's been healed. The abs have been healed. Hold on. Hold on. God told me for this one here, he told me stick my hand into Junior's belly. Right where he is. I feel a, I feel something. I feel a no pain. But I could feel a, um, a force in my belly. He told me, stick my hand. You better say supernatural again. Supernatural. Ain't nothing natural about this. There's no power in the natural. He told me, stick my hand into his belly, right where he is. And I did. And God said, while my hand's in the, his belly, uh oh. In the palm of my hand is the glorified healing fire. And I'm getting ready to seal in his belly the star of David. Jesus. Oh my God. My, it's burning now. In the palm of my hand is burning. Star of David will seal it. Right in his belly. He'll never be the same. He'll never be the same man again after today. He's going to talk differently, mama. Mama, he's going to talk different. He gonna be different, Mama. Cause the name of this, there it is. Woo, now the diabetes is healed. Thank you. Thank you. Now his diabetes is healed. Now his diabetes is healed. Now his diabetes is healed. But this one, God said, is more important than all those miracles he just got. But this is the one. This is for his soul. This is for his spirit. This is for his life. You know what he told me to say? Mm. 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 Here is what he gonna do for the rest of his life. I will pray. I will praise thee. Oh Lord my God. Julian, I will praise thee, oh Lord my God, with all my heart. And I will glorify thy name forever. I take this word and I throw it at Julian right where he is right now. Go and take him. Mama, while you down on your knees giving glory, your son just got healed, delivered, and set free. Your son just got saved, sanctified. And I declare he's filled with the Holy Ghost. He ain't the same man now. He ain't the same man no more. 
Uh uh, he don't like the same things no more. Matter of fact, he hates the old man now. Behold, all things are become new. Say glory. Lord, we thank you. My God, we praise you. Oh, my God, my God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. Mama is now kneeled down at the, in the throne, at the throne in the glory. She's in the glory. I said she's in the glory right now. I said she's in the glory right now. She's in the glory right now. But then I say angels came in. Yeah. yeah. So for the Son of Man should come in the glory of his Father with his angels. And then he shall reward every man according to his works. Glory. glory. Now, I do want to say this for Julian. Lord, give him favor right now. Give him a special favor. We man in with God. That's your favor right now. That what the devil thought they were going to do, they're not going to do it now. There's been a change. I said there's been a change. So in Jesus' name, don't worry no more. Mama, don't fear no more, Mama. But Mama, just keep on rejoicing and thanking God for what he's done. I don't care what it looked like or what they said. It's already been done. And God will get all the way to the end. Give God praise. To the end. It's done. Sister Juan. It's done. God of the second chance. Woo! Oh Lord our God, oh God, oh Lord our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth to have set thy glory above the heavens. Glory, 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 glory. Walk in the glory, talk in the glory, worship in the glory, come church in the glory, shop in the glory, sleep in the glory, eat in the glory, pray in the glory, love in the glory, 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 therefore my heart is glad. In the name of Jesus, I declare every heart in here glad right now. My heart is glad. My heart is glad. I said my heart is glad. My heart is glad. And my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall what? Rest in hope. Your flesh is now resting in hope. Oh. <laughs> Come on here. My God, my God. Yeah, yeah. Sit her right over there for a second. Sit her over there. I don't want her to go far yet. She's still in the glory right now. If bears his road, bring Joshua up here for me. Bring him up here. But I told you, bring him to me. If I can just get him to the man of God, everything's going to be all right. I love you, Joshua. And I believe you love me. But I need you to love Jesus more than you love me and your own self. Amen. Come on, Joshua. Man, what you doing, man? Joshua, what are you doing, man? Oh, God, what are you doing? The no debt seat, thank you. Thank you man. Hold on, Joshua. What are you doing, man? Joshua, Joshua, let me tell you something. Home, how old are you now? Well, man, you better get this message today. I need you to understand what the loving pastor is saying to you today. I don't need you to ever forget this as long as you live on this earth. 
I need you to take it, and I need you to run with it, man. Are you kidding me? Okay, Joshua. You have a mama, right? Yes, you do. Behind you. Amen. Grandma slash mama. Yeah. And you know I'm right. But let me just say this to you, Josh. I've seen grandma raise you up. I've seen grandma buy you the sharpest clothes I've seen a yeah. young man have on his life. When you came in here, you had a different suit on every time you Come walked on in. Come on, man. You were suited in boots. Come on, man. Until you got to this grade. Then you want to dress like the rest of the fellas. Come on, But let me say this to you right now. My mama is in heaven. And let me tell you something, brother. She not doing you like my mama did me. My mama tried to beat the devil out of me. You know? <laughs> my mama's trying to beat the devil out of me. You hear me, man? Beat me. And now I'm glad she beat my butt off. I'm so happy she beat me. I don't know what to do. Thank you. So let me say this to you, brother. No, get it out. Here's my mama. It says, Say it. Withhold not. Oh, not. Correction from a child. Oh, no. No. Now, because you ain't show no love. You ain't show no love. You don't whip him. If thou beatest him with the rod, <laughs> thou shalt beat him and deliver his soul from hell. Now, you can't get beat now by the mama because you're 15. And uh, my mama beat me up to the age of 12. 12. She stopped beating me at the age of, you know, right before I became a teenager. But, but she beat me up to the age of 12. How old are you? I'll stand up for me. Whoa, whoa, I'm still getting whipped. Woo, woo. Thank you. Yeah, see? But after 12, I ain't getting no. Okay? But 12, she was still whooping my butt. Matter of fact, my mama's in heaven. I want you to hear this. I got, I was the second most whipped fellow in the whole community behind my cousin, Pancho Hockaday. Ajafe Hockaday beat him more than Constance Jones whipped me. But I was a close second. And they were first cousin, his mom and mine. Yeah. So they beat me. But hold on. God told me something. I never talk back Amen. to my mama Amen. like you're doing to her. I didn't talk back to my mama. I wanted to, but I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Never. Not one time did I ever talk back to my mama. She would be. My mama even came in the bedroom and said, Thought I forgot, then you took the cover off me in my pajama <laughs> and whacked me. Thought I forgot. I didn't forget. And I still didn't talk back. No matter when she told me I couldn't go outside, I didn't talk back. When she told me I had to do this or do that, couldn't, I didn't talk back, man. And guess what? Now that I'm a grown man, God told me this. He said, be thankful that you didn't talk back to your mama. He said, because now Satan cannot hold it against you and blackmail you with it for the rest of your life and remind you and haunt you with it. Because if you talk about your mama, your mama dead and gone. When she's dead and gone in heaven, and you got thoughts, say, go make sure you got thoughts of how you abuse her with your mouth. Boy, you ain't gonna have no peace, no rest. Because you ain't supposed to be doing it. He said, You'll have a life when you honor your parent, man. Your life's gonna be shortened if you don't. He said, And what you're doing to your mother, you're doing it unto God. This is real, man. This is Bible, man. It's no joke. Give him another one. Proverbs 2020. He that curseth his father or his mother, uh -huh. his lamp shall be put in obscure darkness. Wow. Oh, my God. That's your life. Yeah. 
Man, man, Joshua, stop it, man, stop it. Hold on, Joshua. So he can't haunt me with talking back because I never did. Now, even when I want to talk back, even if I mumble something under my as though she couldn't hear me, you know, if I mumble something. She said, what you say, boy? Yeah, that's right. Nothing. And I would go to my room if I was angry with my mama. I go to my room and cool out. Now, what you're doing, man, is a mistake. It's time for you to make a correction today. Don't listen to the devil. Don't listen to the devil to tell you to talk back and talk mean and act. And uh, hold on. Was he threatening to kill himself or something? What was he doing? I hope you didn't say that. What you say? What you say that you was gonna kill her? When you say she that you hope your grandma get killed, you probably said, "Tell the truth, man. You in the house of God." What did you say? You can take it back, man, and tell God you're never gonna say it again. Tell me what you said. Come on, out with it. Out with it. Come on, out with it, man. Come on, man. Get free today. Out with it. Tell the truth and shame the devil. She, had, she heard you already say it, man. Come on, man. Okay. So, no more. You can't speak death over your mama because you don't agree with, with what she's doing or saying. Guess what? At the age of 40, some or 50, or whatever, I told y'all this for those of you who didn't hear it, man, I was down in Rowan Rapids visiting my parents. And she called me a fool. My mama called me a fool. I said, Mama, I'm a preacher now. You can't call me a fool. She said, I call you whatever I want to. You're still my son. You hear me? And guess what? I bust out laughing. I said, she's right. She's right. She never did call me that again, but she was right. She said, I call you whatever I want to call you. I'm still the mama. You hear me, man? She's the mama, man. You shut your mouth and take it. And one day, you're going to be like me. You're going to be so thankful for your grandma. You're going to be thinking, oh, God, I'm so glad that the Sunday after Thanksgiving in 2020, that she brought me down to the altar and I got delivered from that demon who was trying to destroy me by the way I treat my grandma. Don't ever use the word kill or death yes. with anyone, with your grandma ever again. You hear me, man? Huh? You got me? Certainly now. Don't just shake your head. Just be shaking now. Yeah, you, right. you got it? So I'm going to tell you like I tell my children. Stop faking, Slim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right? Go fake now, okay? All right. Yeah. Well, we know that. It's like a boomerang. I done taught y'all the boomerang effect. Every time you cuss, or every time you say something that's foul, you're not supposed to be saying, God showed me one day that it's a boomerang spirit on it. Amen. You spew it out of somebody else, and it turns around and comes right back into your life and jack you up. Yeah. Uh -huh. I see Sister Norman just pointed to Brother Jim. So He's doing some stuff. She told me. He's doing some stuff, too. He's saying some stuff. He's disrespecting, too. You, too, Jay. How old are you, Jay? You 14, you 15, and both of y'all disrespecting your grandmas. Are you kidding me? I mean, his mom. You disrespecting your mom. You disrespecting your mom. Come here, James. Mama, come up here with him. Come up here with him. I want you to get beside him. And I want mama on the other side of you. I want y'all in between your mamas. Dang, gun it. Y'all got sweet mamas. Mama, you get on that side of him. Okay, one y'all help her. Help her, please. Please help her. Come on. Now, James. 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 Both of them were the first initial J. And both of them were biblical names. Your name, James, the brother of Jesus. 
And your name is what? Joshua. Are you kidding me? Both of those names are Jesus. This name is Jesus, and that's Jesus' brother. Yeah. Yeshua, Joshua. Man, Joshua took Moses' place. Yeah. Yeshua. You hear me? Yeshua, Emmanuel. God among us, God with us. Yeah. Oh my God. Are y'all kidding me, fellas? Yeah. Fellas, y'all got a calling on your lives. Yeah. Stop messing with it. Yeah. Okay, James. You have to respect your mom. If you want to live long, the Bible says you have to respect your mama. You're not going to like what she said. I don't like what my mama said. But you got to keep your mouth shut. Don't take it. Because you're the child. Even if you're 50, 60, 70 years old, as long as your mama's still alive, you're still the child. You're the child. Amen. You hear me, man? Y'all are the children. So in the name of Jesus, I want y'all to repeat after me, you two. You ready? Say, dear Jesus, please forgive me for disrespecting my mama. Please come into my mind and take that out of me. Take it away from me. Come into my heart and soften my heart towards my mama. Satan, say it, Satan, you lying dog from the pit of hell. You can't get me to disrespect my mama anymore. Say, I make a vow. And I'm going to tell you something right now. When you make a vow, you better keep it. Say, I make a vow to respect my mama all the days of my life. Say, I love my mama. He looked right at him when he said it. Look at yours when you say it. Say, I love my mama. I felt that. You meant it. That's why you got to stop all the negative stuff. You meant it. You meant it. I saw it in you. You looked right in her eyes. I saw it in you. You meant it. So I know you love your mama. That's why I'm messing with y'all. No more. Hold on. Point at them for me, y'all. Go whole church point at them. Because this is serious. I mean, they're 14 and 15. It's serious what they're doing. I never said one word to my daddy's mama. Wrong. I never said one word to my mama's mama. I love my grandmamas. God, I love my grandmamas. God, I miss my grandmamas. As well as my mama. Ooh. Say, heal them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. Mind, body, soul, and spirit. Mind, body, soul, and spirit. Satan, you're a loser. Satan, you're a loser. God wins. God wins. As of today, now I'm asking them a question. Are you going to disrespect your mom anymore? Then tell God, God, I'm not going to do it. Anymore. Tell God. I, I'm asking for, are you going to disrespect your grandma anymore? Huh? No. Oh, all right. But well, tell God then. Tell him. Ooh. Hold on. Last thing. Hold your mama's hand. Hold your mama's hand. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I feel this thing. In the name of Jesus, peace, love, respect, understanding, closeness like they've never known before. Hold on. Uh -oh. Hold on. God told me to do this. I rebuke disobedience and rebellion demons right now. They can't come back to you no more. In the name of Jesus. You and your mama will be closer now than you've ever been. I was so glad when I got close to my mama. Oh, God, it was so beautiful. You're going to be so close to your mama. It's going to be so beautiful. And I declare that both of y'all are going to become preachers one day. You're going to become a preacher, and you're going to become a preacher. And I want these mamas to say the same thing about y'all that my mama said about me. 
My mama told my cousin, I'm so glad that God let me live to see my son make it before I died. She didn't tell it to me. She told it to my cousin. My cousin told me. And that thing touched me. For her to say, I'm glad before I died, I saw you make it, James. I saw you make it, Joshua, before your mama go to heaven. Before she go to heaven. Y'all do me a favor. For these, for the mamas and the sons. Y'all ready? Uh-oh. I'm going to end with this. I'm going to Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. Y'all right. Hold on. Oh, my God. He just told it to me. Everybody. Uh, so everybody in the house. He gave this to me today. Oh, my God. Hold on. Look at it. See? I put this in there with it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, where is it? No, no, that's not it. I put this in there. Hold on, let me find it, Lord. Lord, where is it, Lord? Oh, I got uh, no, I got it. Bam, there it is, waiting for me. Ready? Hmm. 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 Here we go. We came in here this morning, didn't we? Church, I'm praying this prayer over y'all right now. This is a morning prayer. Y'all ready? You're standing. You're sitting in the morning prayer. You ready? Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken to the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that, that speak leasy. That means tell lies. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy. Are we in the house of the Lord? Yeah. And in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. No more rebellion. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. And the last verse says, for thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. Will thou compass him as with a shield. That's Psalm number five, the morning prayer. Wow. Psalm five. Mrs. Lawson, he just read it this morning. Ain't that something, y'all? A lot of confirmation today about different things. He just read it this morning. That's the morning prayer, y'all. Psalm six is the evening prayer. My God, my God. So right now, healing and miracles all over this place. Uh, real quick. Keep standing there. I want you to stand that glory as long as possible. Now, Sister Betty, this is Deborah's mom and the children's grandma. She asked me something, and I forgot about her last Sunday, but God reminded me of it. I left out, you know, so much going on, I forgot about you. I said, I ain't going to forget her this Sunday. Say it, please say it. Hold on for a minute. Uh, give me that microphone. Hold on for a minute. Hold on, Sister Norma. Just don't take that microphone, sis. No, I'm not. No, I'm the whole church to hear you. I need surgery in my left eye. On your left eye? Yes. Mm. I'm losing my eyesight. I'm on the borderline and not driving. Oh, oh, hold on. I got something to tell you. If I was preaching today, that's where I was starting at. Ah. So I'm going to release it to you. Because I know where I stopped at. And I'm going to release it to you because that's where. I was to begin if I was preaching that. So you're getting ready to get that blessing 
in your left eye. You hear me? You hear me? Because I'm going to release it to you. And I'm going to preach on it next Sunday, but I'm going to release it to you now. Uh, Mr. Lord, oh, hold on. Sister Betty came to me. Sister June, you know what she said? She said, Pastor, can you pray for these tattoos? She said, can you pray to clear my tattoos, the spirit of the tattoos? I said, yeah, and I'm glad you said something. Because it has to be done. If you give your life to Christ and you still tattoo it all up and then take care of it spiritually, the spirit of those tattoos is still kicking your butt. Because every tattoo has a spirit. I don't care if they tattoo a cross on your body. Come on. You ain't supposed to tattoo your body. The Bible says so. No markings. No markings. And a whole, there are a lot of preachers and pastors with tattoos, but guess what? In here, we took care of it spiritually. So, you ready? Hold your hands off for me because God told me to do this right now. We're going to take care of them tattoos right now. I don't care where they are on your body. And her back, we got that too. We got her back and her eye. Before we lose them. Okay, back in her eye. No, I know. I know you're talking about. Now, people. Come on, point again. Now. Now. The Bible says. The Bible says. 36, 25, right? Mm -hmm. What is it? Ezekiel? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ezekiel 36, 25. Yeah. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be cleansed of all your filthiness and guess what? This is a good one. And of all your idols will I cleanse you. Because yeah. that's what they are. Yeah. Stand right there. I'll close your eyes. Said, you lose every time they bring your crap to us. You lose every time. I'm going to throw this clean, holy water from Ezekiel 36, 25 on your daughter. And every demon that was attached to her through tattooing will be gone. One for the father. One for the son. And one for the Holy Ghost. So in the name of Jesus. Fire to burn those tattoos up right now. In the name of Jesus, I now command every tattoo spirit to loose you and let you go. There they go. Who they running? Who they running? They're running. It's the better they're running. I see them running. It's a lot of them too. It's a lot of them too. They're running. Oh, they're running. They're running. I see them. And they're like in a straight line. Like in school, the kids in a straight line. I saw them go straight out this way and out that way. Hold on. Oh, line ain't stopped yet. They're still running. Oh, my God. Years and years. You must have got these tattoos a long time ago. Yeah? Oh, they're running. They're go. They're running. Oh, my. Yeah. At top speed, they're running. Oh, my God. I heard the word. Your mama, your grandma, your grandma, your grandma. Is now free of the spirits of those tattoos. They're gone. Hey, my boy boy said, she's free. They can't curse her anymore. They're gone in Jesus' name. Who's that? Who? Okay, gotcha. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm taking her knee too. Hold on, y'all. Now, in your back, but hold on. Your eye. Your eye. Uh, your eyes in the ninth chapter right now of Matthew where I was. Remember, remember I was in verse 12? But see, I was in Oh, Miss Lawn. Better gone out quick this time. Let me have the other one. I'm gonna take care of it right now. Let me get it for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all. Right as you sit here. Minister Joanne Dove. 
healing will hit you right now. You hear me? Woman of God. Events Bivens. I don't care what they say. Amen. Ain't no lupus or, or, or what's that other L? Yeah, leukemia, whatever they want to call it. Lupus. Uh-uh. You're getting a blood transfusion right now, sitting right where you are. Just like Mr. Johnny just got. You're getting a blood. Are you getting a blood transfusion? Got it. Thank you, Mr. Long. Are you getting a blood transfusion right now? And that. Annabelle, Evangelist, Prophetess, Duffy. I'm having a biopsy come like next month. Oh, well, your biopsy is going to confirm what's happening with you right now. Yeah, I receive. Mm -hmm. Minister Tony, right now. Right now. Say right now. You say right now. Right now. Mr. Evans, say right now. Mr. Evans must say right now. Sister Wong, say right now. Right now. I'm going to take care of that right now, too. Say right now. Hold on. You tell me what to do. Quickly. Uh huh. Ooh. He, didn't, he didn't say declare over him he shall not die. But he shall live. Oh, okay. Well, we'll uh, matter of fact, I release that to him and all of us. Psalm 118 and 17. Psalm 118 and 17. I shall not die, but live and declare the words of the Lord. I release, I release that probably every day of my life. February of this year. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, since February, then. Oh, wasn't this year? Last year. I thought it was this year. I thought she said no. Uh-uh. It's almost two years. Mama. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mama, there's a shift in the yeah. atmosphere. Yeah. Get ready to rejoice. Yeah. Hold on. That are yours. I was coming right here to the ninth chapter today. And this is what it says. I'm going to throw this in your eye right now. You ready? I got it underlined. Here it is. Here it is, ready? Here it is. And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was coming to the house, are you in the house? The blind men came to him. Uh, okay, you coming to him with your eye? And Jesus said unto them, Believe ye that I'm able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened. Ready? Take your glasses off for me. Church, believe ye that I'm able to do this? Yeah, Lord. And who is I? Who is I? Not me, but who is I? Jesus. Yeah, Sister so Norma, according to your faith, be it unto you. And your eyes heal right now in Jesus' name. Hold on. I got one for you. You ready? Yeah. And when Jesus was come down from the mountain, a great multitude followed him. And behold, there came unto him a leper who worshipped him and said, Lord, if thou wilt, thou can make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. In the name of Jesus. Everything that touched our skin wrong is, is from the same demon of leprosy. So in Jesus' name, your whole skin is healed. I send the queen right now in the name of Jesus. Right now. Your skin is healed in Jesus' name. Hold on now. Hold on. Last two up here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You said I'm right there.
idea? That's the one she had surgery. She broke the key swelling up. The key swelling up? Uh-uh. She broke it how long ago? June of this year. Oh, you just broke it this year? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I read it. And it keeps acting up. It keeps swelling up. In the cast. Uh uh. Hold up. Hold up. I got a boot for you. Oh, I got a boot for you. Yeah, I got a boot for you, huh? This boot work every time. Uh, uh, did it work on your foot? And you hadn't worn a shoe in like, what was it? 14 months or something? 14 months she hadn't worn a shoe till we put a boot on her. And she's been wearing a shoe ever since. And they were trying to cut off her toe. Foot. Her whole foot. Yeah, you get ready to cut up a whole foot. Uh, do you have your foot? Are you got shoes on? Give God praise then. We're going to put a supernatural boot on. Hallelujah. Is this one? All right. All right. In the name of Jesus. I release the healing word of God into your bone, into your ligament, into your joint, into your toe, foot, and ankle, and leg. Uh-oh, hold on. Lord, what do I do with him? He said, kill him. But how do I kill him? Oh, by the way, so you know what I'm talking about. I said, Lord, what do I do about this swelling spirit? He said, kill him. Well, Lord, God, tell me how to kill him. Huh? <laughs> yeah. While the booze on you, he just told me how to kill him. Yeah. I never killed one like this before, but I'm gonna kill him the way he told me. Ready? He told me to take that swelling spirit. He said, I'm gonna kill him like this. In the name of Jesus, he told me to put him under my foot. <clears throat> and he told me to kill him right now. There he is. He told me to kill him. He told me to kill him. My foot is on his throat. He won't be able to breathe. He won't be able to talk. He won't be able to swell up anymore. He told me to just kill him with my foot. Y'all, and you saying about yourself, say my foot is anointed to destroy the enemy in Jesus' name. You ain't worried about swelling no more. It's healed in Jesus' name. You ain't worried about swelling no more. It's healed. You ain't worried about, no about swelling no more. Every bone that you broke is now sealed. He said, I am the Lord thy God, and I will heal thee of thy wound. Say, the Lord, your wound is healed now. Give yes. God praise today, y'all. Oh, oh, I got this. Oh, uh-uh, baby. Don't forget to your pros on that side, too. Uh-uh, no, I'm going to get that back. Uh-uh, I'm bringing it here right now. Okay. Hold on. Uh-uh. No. And you almost had to go to the doctor, right? Uh-uh. 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 Woman of God, you are too faithful. And the devil hates your guts. You're too faithful to go through this pain and go through this stuff. And remember what I said? That God is going to get us away from the doctor. And get us away from surgery and medication. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold on. It's and pulling it. Oh my God. I just felt something. You and Vince Rosa, I'm going to say the same thing to you. You're too good and too faithful for that pain to be in there. Okay, with that. Vince Jane, come up here with that beside her. Two preachers, three preachers up here. Come on up here, Vince Jane. Come on, bring yours too, preacher. Because guess what? God's going to do something different with me to heal y'all of these attacks on your limbs, on your legs, on your extremities. Oh, I feel it. Man, this is a whole different type of healing. He just told me what I'm ready to do. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. Come on up there. Get in between them. Miss Blonde. Miss Blonde, get right there with your issue you told me. With the attack on your stomach. Oh, oh come on. Come on. Because this is the last one I'm going to do for the day. 
But as they're up here, he's giving me a different way to deal with it. Yeah. Bring it on up here, y'all. If you want it now, bring it on up here. He just gave it to me. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, my God, this is beautiful. Bring it on up here, y'all. Bring it on up here. Oh, yeah. Side around a little bit to right here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. All right there. Oh, are you working? Are y'all working? Okay, got y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you, soldiers. And you stand there. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, the same thing you've been doing. Ready, y'all? I'm at a dog. Make sure they can see that God wins. Man. Hold on. This is what he told me to do. Oh, this is good. Church, y'all ready? Come on with it. Oh, you ready to work? Oh, you ready? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, you better go now. Hallelujah. Y'all, here's how he told me to handle it. Here's how he told me to handle it. He told me that for this, for the pain and the attacks and the attacks and the swelling and the limbs, and you're still in it. You hear me? You're still in it. He told me to do this. He told me to bring you up. Are you up here with it too? Come on, get right there. Get right there. That's right. I'm joining you. Ooh, I'm glad you brought it up here. Stand right there. Ready, y'all? Here it is. He told me that I am going before the throne. And I am going to give him worship to heal all of this. He said, through the worship, everything's going to loose you. He'll be released. So he told me, so Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm ready. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Lord God, I give you all the praise, all the honor. Oh my God, feel it and the glory. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let your healing flow. We praise you for it. Let your deliverance flow. I thank you for it. Lord God, we celebrate you today. We bless you, Lord. And Lord, right now, set them free of the attack of the enemy now. I heard this early today and I'm hearing it again. The shackles are falling off y'all right now. The shackles of, 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 of all attacks. The shackles are falling off of pain and swelling and hurt and discomfort. Malfunctions and dysfunctions. Your legs are now be matter of fact, your legs are uh, event roller. I just heard Matt Run that your legs are gonna be like you were 25 years old. Uh, I heard your back gonna be like you was 25 years old. Matter of fact, guess what? He told me to tell each one of you, there is a youthful anointing coming on your bodies. There's a youthful anointing coming on your bodies. Only God has the power to release a youthful anointing onto us. Say, I receive. So in the name of Jesus, I praise you. I give you all the honor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. You did. Uh, let me say this to y'all right now. This is how it's going to end. I didn't know that I was going to do this because I did the morning prayer already, right? So I said, I said, Pastor, I said, Lord, it's going to be evening time when I do the morning prayer. He said, but do the morning prayer because you came into the church in the morning. So I'm thinking there won't be an evening prayer, but he just told me, he said, I saved the evening prayer for y'all. And once I finish this, everything you needed in your extremity is gone. Here's the evening prayer. Y'all ready? Oh my God. The Bible said this is a prayer for mercy. This is a prayer for mercy during your trouble. You hear me? This is a prayer for mercy. Here it is. Oh, I'm about to go off up in here. I'm about to go off up in here. 
the morning prayer. I'm sorry, the evening prayer. Oh Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. Oh Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. Oh, have mercy. Oh, he's going to run to your bones right now. Going right into your joints, tendons, ligaments. My soul is also sore vexed. But thou, O oh Lord, how long? Return, O oh Lord, deliver my soul. O oh, save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave, who shall give thee thanks? I am weary with my groaning. All the night make out my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. Mine eye is consumed because of grief. It waxes old because of all mine enemies. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. For the Lord have heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord have heard my supplications. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all mine enemies be ashamed and so that Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. In the name of Jesus. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy and we receive your mercy we receive your, your deliverance your glory and your healing in Jesus wonderful name y'all y'all give him praise it's done it's done it's done it's done now, mom, from Acts the 19th chapter, verse 11, verse 12, and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body was brought unto the sick, handkerchiefs or aprons, the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them, don't ever wash it, keep it to Jesus Christ, release you from it, because this is the point of contact with Acts 19, 11, 12, all on it. You can wear it any kind of way you want to. You can put it underneath your, your pillow seat you want it. In your pillow case, you can put it in your pocketbook. You can put it up, you can, you can tie it to the door of your bedroom, steering wheel, the car, whatever. But don't ever wash it. Now, right now, the mercy has been sent. Your legs, back, eyes, knees, everything is done. It's, minister, you hear me back there? That's it, minister. That's it. Run with it, minister. That's it. Because it's done. Now, I'm going to say goodbye. God bless the signs, wonder, miracles. <clears throat> Jesus.